Life in Nairobi can actually be very good and even more so if the government really gave a damn about its people and cities. I think if they did it could very well be one of the best cities in the world to live in. If you can make a decent living, I am talking $4,000 and above, you can have a better standard of living than a Western country. If you read on I will tell you why. First and foremost because of its consistent quite comfortable temperature all year round. The weather is lovely here. Second, it has great places to visit from mountains, grasslands, rainforests and world-class beaches. If you're an outdoors kind of person it has a lot to offer, such as a huge variety of animals species, bird species are in the thousands. You can get fresh non-GMO vegetable produce and for cheap. Food in restaurants is also a lot cheaper than most Western countries. In addition, meats such as chicken beef and mutton are organic and very flavorful than in other countries I have visited. House helps. They can make your life a lot easier provided you find an honest one and treat them well, good pay and respect. Majority of Kenyans are friendly and down to earth and have good conservatives values. Insecurity is not even as bad as places such as cities in South Africa or US for that matter, cities such as in Florida or Chicago. There's hardly any racial tensions or alarming, society crippling gang culture among the youth. There aren't any major sanctions on the usage of social media like many other countries have so it does encourage free speech to a certain extent except for inciting tribalism or in expressing some political views. Those are some of the main things that really help your standard of living. There are however things that make life a lot harder especially when you don't make a decent living because the government doesn't give taxpayers back nearly as much citizens pay them. No social security for the poor, nor free medical or education just primary school is covered. The infrastructure has improved but the city is still in bad condition especially the inner roads and even some major highways. They make your commute to work tiring day in day out. Mostly attributable to rampant corruption on all levels in the government. The answer is yes, no, this is because it depends what you call hard. In terms of transport, yes life is hard, heavy and irregular transport network, punctuated with very unruly matatu drivers and unconcerned traffic police, remedy plan your movement two hours ahead. Environment, dirty and dust, when it rains muddy everywhere especially CBD and Eastland's human traffic, too many idle people food and accommodation, expensive to the majority cause of very low wage bill, exemplified in the many many slam areas, surrounding almost every corner of the city security lapses and Betty theft, occasional muggings in CBD, although the situation is improving rude and corrupt county government security staff unruly street families etc on the other side. Labor is cheap and readily available there are plenty of cheap food eateries for an average income person with the introduction of Uber taxis the movement on private taxi is cheap and readily accessible there are plenty of good neighborhoods around the city, leafy and clean for high income earners Kenyans are friendly people on top of that plenty of entertainment sports etc etc.